Rare protests in Syria calling for the ouster of the authoritarian government have gathered momentum over the past two weeks in scenes reminiscent of the Arab Spring uprising that began more than 12 years ago and morphed into a multi-sided war. Hundreds of people have protested in southern Syria to urge President Bashar al-Assad to step down, capping nearly two weeks of demonstrations that had erupted over poor living conditions but have spiralled into renewed calls for political change. The protests grew out of anger over increasing economic hardships that boiled over into demands for a political settlement to the war, which is largely at a stalemate. They have grown daily, drawing hundreds of people who at times have torn down the ubiquitous posters of President Bashar al-Assad and shuttered offices of the political party loyal to him. Bashar out, Syria free, shouted a large crowd on Friday in the city of Sweda. The demonstrations began in the south and spread even briefly, touching the capital Damascus and another major city, Aleppo. Most are in government-held areas, far from the front lines of the war in the northwest, where there is still sporadic fighting between government and opposition forces. Similar fervent rallies have also been reported in Aleppo, Dara, Deir Ezzor and Jablai. Demonstrators are calling for sweeping political changes while decrying deteriorating living standards, the continued incarceration of political dissidents, rampant corruption and poor governance. The immediate trigger for the protests was the government's decision early this month to cut fuel subsidies, a move that sent shockwaves through a populace already grappling with the precipitous decline of the Syrian lira. As the value of the currency plummeted, so did the people's patience. Friday's turnout was large despite apparent divisions within the Druze leadership over the demonstrations. Some Druze sheikhs have criticised protesters' calls for al-Assad to step down and say that any improvement to the socio-economic situation must come through dialogue. Dozens of protesters are gathered on Friday in the neighbourhood province of Dara, where the 2011 protests kicked off. They carried the three-star flag emblematic of the Syria's uprising as well as signs criticising the role of Iran, a key al-Assad ally. More than a decade of conflict has left Syria divided and mired in economic crisis. Mr. al-Assad has managed over the years to wrest back control over the vast majority of the country, but opposition forces and US-backed Syrian Kurdish fighters still control swaths of the north and east. Anger in government-controlled territory has been building for years as the economic situation deteriorates. About 90% of Syrians are living below the poverty line and about 70%, that is 15.3 million people, need humanitarian assistance, according to the United Nations. The recent protests began in the southern province of Sweda, home to the country's Druze sect, one of the many religious minorities in Syria. The Druze largely sat out the 2011 Arab Spring uprising against Mr. al-Assad's rule, which transformed within months from peaceful demonstrations into an armed uprising against an increasingly brutal crackdown on dissent. But the Druze did not refuse to send their young men to mandatory military service so as not to be party to violence against Mr. al-Assad's opponents. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.